The immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to talk about many products. And what's fun about doing this on the side is that I get to choose what I want to talk about and when I want to talk about it. And there's been a lot of products. I, I went to PRGE, I had many companies come to me and say, hey, what do you think about talking about this? Or I get an email of this, or I get an email about that. And what I did is I, I chose a bunch of things that I've wanted to talk about in videos and just put them together in one video. And so I have many products to talk about. Let's check them out. All right. One of the products I'm going to talk about today is the Evo Retro. And this is a Switch Pro controller. And one thing I really like about this controller is the grip and the ergonomic design. More importantly, this is less than half the price of a Switch Pro controller. Now, it's not the same. I'm not going to lie. The Switch Pro controller is one of the best controllers on the market. But if you're on a budget, if you're looking for a great controller option, you know, you got Smash Brothers coming out on the Switch. This is a pretty good controller. Uh, the other thing that's important to know, it's pretty tough. I've already dropped this controller twice. <laughs> I've just been clumsy lately and I dropped it twice it, it 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 took the hit pretty good and so yeah I just want to say it's pretty tough design I was able to sync it up uh, it took a little bit to sync up to my switch I think that was user error but was able to sync it up and uh, I'm going to go show you a couple games but this is the other cool thing about this controller this is uh the control pad right here, it comes with these other options for control pads. It comes with this one already on it. And I, I took the flathead screwdriver to pop that one out. And so what I did is I just popped that off. And this one kind of has like a, I don't know, like an elite Xbox Pro Controller option there. And I used pop that one back on and it's really neat you got some options there i really like that it has that feature and let's check it out with a couple games all right just thought i'd check out this game and this is night slashers this is actually a new game from johnny turbo's arcade and thought i'd check out this new controller using it and i'm using one of the control pad variations again just taking it off is pretty easy. I just used a simple flat head screwdriver. Working pretty good. Never played this game before. Kind of a cool, kind of a cool like brawler. Definitely got to give this one some more attention. Using this controller with a fighter, I was able to get most moves off using one of the control pad variations. Alright, I'm really excited about talking about this next product and Hyperkin approached me at PRG and says, hey, you're interested in talking about this? I said, absolutely. And this is the TurboGrafx-16 AV adapter. And the US model, the TurboGrafx-16, it doesn't have the ability to, the simple base model doesn't have the ability to hook up composite. And so what this is, what this device does, it's a small device and it just, it's a small green device with composite cables. It comes with cheap composite cables, but it gets the job done. And back here, it plugs into your TurboGrafx-16 and you're able to then hook it up AV cables. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Does it work? I think it works good first time firing right up and what's also nice about this adapter is that it's cheap it's about 20 bucks a link below if you're interested and it's just really neat quick story you know me 
And my best friend, Jonathan Rose, this is his TurboGrafx-16. He traded this to me a long time ago and really excited about having this in my collection. I haven't tested this in a while, so it's a nice way to test the unit and to dig it out of storage. And so here it is. Yep, Keith Courage, the packing game for TurboGrafx-16. And it's running great. Looks like it's running awesome. Sounds great too. Awesome option for people on a budget that want to play their TurboGrafx-16. All right, this is another weird product, and this is by Play Retro Designs. There's a couple, there's a couple people doing these types of things, and Etsy's kind of neat because you get these weird kind of products. And so, Play Retro Designs is making slideshow carts. It doesn't play games. There is uh, some other people out there working on one of these that does play games. But all it is, is they took the house of a 2600 cartridge and put an LCD screen in it and put it on a stand. Really nice. Really nice. Atari 2600. This is great for an Atari fan. And it does a slideshow of all the different 2600 games. Really neat. This would go great in a game room of someone that's a big fan of Atari and Play Retro Designs. The link's below. It does other things. Now, the downside, it's kind of expensive, you know, and it's from the UK, so you're, you're going to have to pay shipping, but it's pretty neat. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about having this in my collection, and, you know, someone sent it to me, and I thought it'd be kind of neat to include in this video. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet, and a bunch of different homebrews and hacks and, and different Atari games slideshow, and it's kind of neat to look at, so... Definitely want to check it out. Uh, check the link below. Also want to add that you just uh, has a simple USB jack, and so you just plug that in. I'm, I plug this into a computer, and it's kind of neat just to have the slide go and, and see what pops up, and it's pretty neat. Pretty good screen on it and a nice base on it, and I think it's a pretty cool product. I get asked to do a lot of reviews sometimes, and sometimes I agree to do a review that's not game related. And sometimes it's a product or something that I'm interested in seeing how practical and how useful it is because it's something I feel I need in my house. And this is one of those items. I have a lot of stuff everywhere. I have a lot of tablets and phones in my family, even though we're just a household of, household of four. We have several phones and tablets. And if you are one of those types of families, this might be something you might be interested in. This is, We Team makes this, this is a smart charging station. And these go for about 30 plus bucks. There is a sale for this month, half off. And all it is, is it's one plug into the wall and it, it holds up to six devices. You know, five, five with USB and uh, two point, uh, five volts and then a Type-C connector, which it comes with one of those. And so you just simply just put your phones in here or tablets or whatever, and it holds them pretty nice. And, you know, I thought, you know, I am going to bring this to a birthday party. I have to go to a birthday party today of my mother-in-law, and I'm just going to ask her input. And so I'm going to ask all the people there to kind of charge their phones, and I wanted to ask her what she thought of it afterwards, and and see what she thinks of it. Let's check it out. I am Martha, today's my 65th birthday, and my son-in-law John brought this smart charging station to our house because we have 13 people in our family, 14 with a guest today. Most of them had smartphones, and they were able to charge their phone on this smart charger. John plugged it into the wall, everybody put their phone in one of the trays, and the great thing about it was they all knew where to find their phone when it was time to leave. And it was charged up as well. So I think this is a great little device. I would highly recommend it. Thank you. So there you have it. I chose the products that I wanted to talk about. And if you're interested in purchasing them, the link is below for all the different products. And I had a lot of fun doing this one, especially the Turbo Graphics adapter. I had a lot of classic memories and connections with my best friend Jonathan Rose on getting that turbo graphics unit and it was great it was still working I haven't tested it in a while and so thank you so much for continuing to tune into my humble channel as I march towards 70,000 subs I'm getting really close 
and I had a lot of fun with this one. Stay tuned. I have many more videos planned. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.